Today's decluttering video is going to be fun because I'm not only decluttering one area, not two, but three entire areas that desperately need cleaning. We're going to start today by tackling these two drawers in my laundry room that we consider the catch-all drawers. One drawer originally was supposed to be a drawer that contains items related to clothing. Things like sewing materials, shoe shining stuff, and defuzzing items live here. But as you can see, it had become overrun with clutter. The other drawer's purpose was to hold backup kitchen utensils that don't get used often but are still needed, especially utensils that we use outside when we grill. Once we restore order back into these two drawers, we are also going to tackle the bottom part of the china cabinet in my dining room and then wrap up today's declutter with the paperwork desk in the living room. If you're new to my channel, then welcome! Since the beginning of 2021, I made a New Year's resolution to completely declutter everything in my house so that by spring, I could have a fresh slate to do deep cleaning on. We still have been getting snow here, but otherwise spring is essentially here. After this video, I'm going to have my decluttering season finale be an extreme declutter of the garage. Besides decluttering and cleaning videos, I also post seasonally relevant content and Bath & Body Works videos. If any of those topics interest you, then I encourage you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Once I've sifted through the items that are obviously trash, I'm going to find all electronic items and put them in the red basket, and keepsake items in the cauldron. Then with whatever I'm left with, I will sort into piles based on like item. Now that my category piles are made, I'm going to go through one pile at a time and decide if it needs a new home or if it needs to be donated or thrown away since only sewing related items are staying in this drawer and backup utensils in the other. Now that all of the random stuff on the countertop has been taken care of, let's tackle the electronics and keepsakes. Those bags are full of throwaway stuff, and Arthur has been helping me since I found his favorite banana in there. This is all the stuff that will be donated here. As a reminder, here's how they looked before, and here they are after. Now let's move on to the next project. The dishes in here have been gone through recently and are fine. It's these drawers and cabinets down here that need my help today. There's some stuff that just needs reorganizing like those tablecloths there, 
but in a previous video I was able to make a spot where all of my storage photographs can go, so I'm going to take those out and add them to my previous photo pile to sort for another day. Now that we've got those photo albums with the other picture box I have downstairs, we can use this cabinet just for table setting, which makes much more sense. On to the desk. This desk is housing a lot of cookbooks that can be put back on the bookshelf, office supplies that need narrowing down, and the filing system for important documents that haven't been updated in a while. So first we're going to clear everything off and give it a good clean, then to start decluttering. I already put things into broad categories as I unloaded everything off. Here's papers, office supplies and other items, and then books over here. I'm going to start this by further sorting the random items into specific categories so I can eliminate most of it and choose what to keep on the desk. So of that huge pile on the floor, these are the only things going back on the desk. Over here is the trash pile, and I found respective homes for everything else. Most of these books are going to return to the bookshelf, but I'll decide on a few to keep that we've been using frequently. Now time for papers. As you can see, our papers to sort basket told us it was time to finally sort them by breaking. So once I sort, I'm going to replace it with the green one. I'm just piling them into three categories. Either it gets recycled, kept and filed, or it goes to someone else to decide if it belongs to them. Once all sorted, I'm going to go through the files to make sure everything in them is still relevant. Then I file the new papers in with them. There weren't really official categories for the folders, so I'm busting out my handy dandy label maker. Now that they will be labeled, it's going to be a lot easier to file papers quickly in the future. Alright, 
Here's a little reminder of what it looked like before. And here's the final result. I hope this video brought you some extreme decluttering motivation. If it did, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned because next time we are going to be decluttering the garage in preparation to the beginning of gardening season. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.